Hi there guys, happy Wednesday night. This is Mary Fulton, instructor and trainer, and tonight we're gonna to talk about wellness and a little bit about exercise and mindfulness and how that can help us with our, just our mental health and our just our overall well-being. So hopefully you guys are gonna join me on. I'm gonna click on right here just to get some friends to join me tonight. Let's see who's out there. And hopefully some of you guys aren't all eating dinner. I'm on a little bit late tonight, so. All right, well, I didn't find myself. This is not good. Anybody on? Let's see if I can get anybody to jump on with me at six o'clock. Six o'clock, friends, come on. Wellness Wednesday, yes. Allie's on, what's up, Allie? Thanks for joining me, girl. I was just trying to share, share my page so we can get some more friends on. So Wellness Wednesday, thanks for jumping on. So tonight we are gonna talk about a few different oh, topics. And um, just, just to help us with our mindset because it's super important for overall health. Not only is it important for us to keep our nutrition and our exercise and all of that, but also our mental wellness. But they all kind of go together and play with each other. Hi there, I mean, and nice to see you. So let's get started. And I was gonna first start out with, um, actually with exercise. And I was just gonna start off with a little story too. So um, I'm a fitness instructor, so usually my routine, um, not during COVID-19, is to get the kids off to school on time, right? <laughs> Do you remember those days where we had to drop our kids off at school dressed and showered, <laughs> and they had to have breakfast and their lunch and all their things, right? So a lot of mornings didn't go as planned for me, um, probably like most moms. And some days were worse than others, and some days were great. But I remember specifically um, some mornings where, you know, we were late and my kids forgot their backpack and we're fighting in the car. And it's definitely not one of those happy mornings that you want to start off with. And, you know, it's really important um, to send my kids off in a happy note when they leave the car because, you know, you never know if you're going to see them again. And also, however you send your kids off in the morning is kind of how the rest of their day plays in, right? Or or anybody, even if it's not your kids, right? Hi guys, it's Elena. Even if it's just, you know, you get in an argument with your husband or your friend on the phone or whatever, and then you go to work and you can't fix it, it messes with your mind a little bit, right? So these are some of the mornings that I would have. So basically fighting in the car, dropping off the kids and driving to the gym, and I'm just angry, like the whole world has come to an end. I got fire in the chest. Can anybody relate to the, this situation? And it doesn't have to be because you have kids. It's any like an argument with somebody, right? Get to the gym, and I'm just like, I don't even feel like teaching right now. I'm just so angry and mad. Then I start teaching my classes, and everything changes. All of a sudden, you know, two hours later, after all of the workouts, it's like body like, oh, no, stay. sorry, I got disconnected for a second. Can you guys see me? Okay, sorry, bad connection. I don't know what happened. That's crazy. So after the workout, I would feel so much better. And I would look back on the situation and I could reflect a little bit better and think more about, you know what, I reacted too angry or I really, um, you know, didn't need to get so upset about the connection. Ah, oh, I got you guys. Are you still here? I lost everybody. Oh, I'm so sad. <laughs> okay, hopefully some of you guys can jump back on. I'm still here. I had to move to my room. Oh, here, I got like a little butterfly pillow. Okay, so anyway, I'm sorry. I'm not sure what happened with my connection. But here I am in my room, and I did make my bed. <laughs> okay, thanks for staying on with me. I lost like eight people. Anyways, so back to the story. So um, having an experience like that and then getting to exercise, and that was my point, was that when we exercise and move, um, our moods change, and things maybe feel a little bit less stressful, and um, we have a moment to kind of breathe and process through maybe some of the stuff that we were going through or feeling anxious about. So what I was gonna say is that when we move and we exercise, then um, chemicals are sent to our brain, those endorphins are flowing and we feel super good and everything changes. Movement um, is life and movement helps us mentally as well. So right now, you know, maybe while you're at home, maybe you turn on a video, you're not feeling motivated, or um, maybe you're feeling sluggish at home or, or a little bit depressed. And so I wanna encourage you to move. Maybe you're getting tired of all the people you're quarantining with. It's possible, right? I'm quarantining with about five. 
my husband's always working so I don't get tired of him but you know the kids and me and my mom we start to kind of argue here and there <laughs> so it's probably happening at your home too so exercising getting your family to move with you doing a little video or going for a walk doing something that just feels good now for me personally when I have a lot of anxiety and stress I like to do burpees but that's just me they make me feel so much better I go from being super grumpy to being a happy little camper after I've done burpees. Come see me after a grit class and I'm like on top of the world flying with endorphins and feeling just fresh and new. So, but for other people you might like to just, you know, maybe take a nice walk, a bike ride, rollerblading, maybe you want to do some yoga. And I want to encourage you that if you're sitting a lot on the computer, because a lot of you are still working and working from home. And when you're sitting a lot, your back starts to ache. You know your postures here so doing a quick little you know 15 minute ab class or core or something like that's going to help get your blood flowing and feeling good so i wanted to encourage you just to move your body and um, it's going to help you with your mind as well it's going to make you a little bit less irritable um, it's going to help you with depression it's going to help you with a lot of things that are going to make you overall feel better during this time of covid but so that wasn't the only thing I wanted to talk to you about. So the next thing I wanted to chat with you about was, so not only for our, just our mental well-being, should we work on um, exercise? Cause I mean, I love to exercise and everything, but also just mindfulness. And you know what? I'm pretty good about exercising. That one, I'm like, I'm good. Like, I mean, I could always try some new things, but for me, the mindfulness piece and being still is something that I really struggle with. And this week, it was kind of brought to my attention a little bit with a few different things in my life, maybe some friendships, where, you know, hey, Mary, did you listen to what I told you? Like, did you hear me? And I was like, oh yeah, I heard you. But I had so many other things going on that I didn't like take the time to like really listen. And and um, at first I wanted to kind of get like my feelings hurt, like, oh, I'm just busy, like, can't you be understanding? And then I realized, oh, I really gotta work on this. So I get excited about things and I also jump into too many things at one time. And so being mindful is a really important piece for stress and for um, anxiety and for a lot of things, depression. So being mindful can help us to feel better across the board. So I was gonna talk a little bit about mindfulness. It's about attention, intention, and attitude. So it's like a whole, you know, um, and, and a lot of people will do mindfulness differently. Some people meditate, some people pray, some people just sit in silence, or maybe they do it during their yoga time. It's going to be different for each person. I know that my mindful time starts in the morning, and I'll sit on my couch when it's quiet around 4.50, 5 in the morning. Nobody needs me. And I'll just, you know, read and pray and drink my coffee. But if I don't get that time... I feel really uh, flustered. And I think actually I need to make a couple appointments during the day. How many of you feel like you might take some quiet time but then the rest of the day is kind of loud and crazy? Anybody out there relate to that? <laughs> um, so for me personally, um, I was just wanted to encourage us to use our five senses um, and just take a moment to, you know, 10 minutes, get rid of the phone, get rid of whatever. If you have a lot of stuff in your head like me, then make a quick list of everything you need to do and then get rid of it. Sit somewhere quiet and just take in your senses, you know. A moment of listening, what do you hear? You know, just a moment of smelling, how does the air smell? Just taking some deep breaths and just, you know, taking in all the senses. And if we do that with a lot of different things in our life, whether we do it with, you know, when we're, it's time to have dinner and we eat more mindfully, then we're probably not gonna overeat or stress eat or um, just eat for boredom, right? If we're more mindful. Um, and also with mindfulness, it can help us bite our tongue and not be you know, um, extra critical of the people in our home because we've been together for so long. <laughs> or just getting really snappy. I've found myself being really snippety snappy lately. Um, because I'm trying to do so many things and, you know, because of the quarantine. So 
I just want to encourage everybody out there to take a little bit of time to be mindful. Let's use our five senses, sit, rest, um, put our uh, phones and iPads and computers away because they really do, you know, keep talking to us while we're trying to be restful and peaceful. It's easy to just pick up the phone again, right? <laughs> How many of you pick up and check your phone like every five seconds? I do. Um, so just to encourage us so we can be healthier um, in our mindset and be um, overall healthy, not just with exercise or just our foods, but just mentally. So just a shout out out there. You guys are all doing great out there. Keep moving um, and just serving each other and looking out for each other in this time. And I'm sorry my video got cut off and thank you for coming back on. Thanks, Slam Joe. And just remembering to listen. So this week I just learned, hey, listen. And when your friend or somebody is saying something to you, then you know, take it to heart and try to make a change. And, um, and so anyways, I'm, I'm gonna try to be a better listener and pay attention a little bit more. This is hard for me because I'm a little bit ADD and I don't know how to be still. <laughs> if you've ever taken one of my classes, you probably like it because I'm bouncing around like a jumping bean. But when it comes time to be still, I struggle, so I'm gonna work on that. Who wants to work on something with me? Hi, hi gorgeous, oh thank you, thanks so much. Oh, go take that ab class. I'm actually gonna finish out right now. But just an encouragement to everybody, thanks for stopping in. This is Mary Fulton, and um, just wanna bless you guys. Take some time to move your body, take some time to be still and be quiet, and um, let's enjoy this beautiful life that we have, and today, and every second, and every beautiful thing and annoying thing that's out there because, um, because we get to be here, right? So have an amazing night, guys. Thank you so much, and I'll see you tomorrow. I got workouts tomorrow, and I also have, uh, oh, trainer tips on Thursdays. So thanks for tuning in. See you later.